Alcohol has a negative impact on how a person thinks, acts, and moves. An intoxicated individual does not always have the ability to make good decisions. Driving a vehicle, crossing a busy street, or even continuing to drink to excess are all examples of bad decisions that can be made under the influence of alcohol. When selling or serving alcohol, you should monitor each person for signs of intoxication and step in if you think an intoxicated person is about to make a bad decision. Otherwise, it's not just your establishment that can be held liable. You could also be held responsible. In other words, found civilly liable. Civil liability is different from criminal liability. Criminal liability means the police could charge you with a crime. Civil liability means that an individual can sue you for damages. This means that if a court decides you have been negligent, you could be held responsible for property damage or personal injury in the lawsuit. This also includes any lawsuit brought on by an innocent third party who was injured by an intoxicated guest. You could be found civilly liable in three ways. One, under the Liquor License Act, LLA. The LLA states that you are not allowed to sell alcohol to an intoxicated person, serve alcohol to the point of intoxication, or serve an already intoxicated guest. A server must also ensure that guests are not in danger of causing injury or harm to themselves or others. 2. By a court ruling of negligence or lack of duty of care. Servers have a duty of care to their guests to keep them safe from harm. Servers cannot encourage drunkenness or serve drinks to guests who are visibly intoxicated. They must also take steps to prevent an intoxicated guest from driving. Additionally, as a cashier, you cannot sell alcohol to a customer who is intoxicated. 3. Under the Occupier's Liability Act, OLA. The OLA deals with injuries caused by the condition of the premises or the activities that take place on the premises. In other words, the occupier or license holder needs to ensure that the premises are reasonably safe for guests. The occupier must also ensure that the conduct of both staff and guests does not result in injury. So for the benefit of your guests, your establishment, and yourself, be responsible and make the right decisions. Thank you.